On Wednesday, after days of protests seeking justice for the death of George Floyd, Minnesota's Attorney General added an upgraded charge of second-degree murder against the former Minneapolis police who killed George. This could be a relief sign that the U.S. needed to de-escalate the unrest in the U.S. Meanwhile, President Trump announced he didn't go to a bunker to hide from protesters on Friday, but instead he went there to inspect it. Also on Wednesday, Bank of Canada kept its interest rates unchanged. The Bank of England is reminding British banks of a possibility of a no-deal Brexit. And we found out that the coronavirus pushed up German unemployment in May. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Danielle, the founder of the Investiva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Thursday, we'll be consumed with the ECB rate decision, Canada's balance of trade, and the UK consumer confidence. Today, I'm looking at the dollar yen pair, which broke above the daily Ichimoku cloud on Tuesday and confirmed the bullish momentum on Wednesday after consolidating for over 45 days. The pair is now headed towards the key resistance levels of 109 and 111. We could expect a temporary pullback as the pair hits the 109 resistance level, which could provide an optimal buying price for the market bulls. How high do you think the dollar-yen pair will go this week? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Sigma YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.